Today we are going to be watching a video from the channel Cut. Now this video is about ghost stories. It's about tell people telling their experience about ghost stories and stuff and I don't know about you but the newest Conjuring movie came out and I love, 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 love scary movies. So I was ready to watch this movie. So I watched it and didn't really get my scary movie fix. So I'm ready to hear these authentic stories. So let's get into it. Have you ever seen a ghost? Oh, geez, have I ever seen a ghost? Uh. Oh, I wish I could say yes, but I don't think I have. I have never seen a ghost in my life and I don't ever want to see one. I had to knock on some wood. Um, yeah, like I like watching scary movies and all that kind of stuff and listening to ghost stories, but if I ever had to witness a ghost encounter, no. Um, but I have had friends and family tell me stuff about go like ghost stories and stuff like that. So I've definitely been in contact with people who've had interesting stories. I know here on YouTube, um, graveyard girl she used to do way back in the day she used to do stories and stuff about ghosts and like she would tour i think she would tour haunted places and stuff and she would tell those stories and i loved i loved those videos and i really wish she would do them again but i don't know she's been everywhere so i don't even know if there's even places anymore she could visit with stories but you know what she could go international she could go international but i love those but yeah never had a ghost story don't want, don't want one don't want one. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I'll look in like my peripheral. There's definitely omnipresent forces that aren't physical manifestations of humans. I can't prove it though. But like some weird shit just be happening sometimes and I'm like. Have you ever seen a ghost? I don't think I've seen a ghost. Heard a lot of ghosts though. What are you hearing? Julie doors. My closet doors were moving. I was sitting in the kitchen, looking at this door open and close. Then my grandma at like 5.30 a.m. was like, what the heck are you doing? Just sitting in the kitchen, staring at this door. And Okay, see that would creep me out. Like if I saw a door opening and closing in my apartment, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, yeah. I'm gonna drive out of state, call up one of my friends on the way there, and tell them, tell them I'm staying over. Like, and I'm not coming back until I have a priest. Like, what? What? Not grandma coming in and telling me to stop staring. No grandma. No grandma. You have a ghost. A ghost. Grandma, you need help. I can't help you, grandma. Ugh. My great grandmother, she died. I'm laying on my bed on my side and I'm looking at the wall and I smell her. Now turn around and she's in her wheelchair. I don't think I've seen a ghost in a human form. I think I've seen dishes falling off of shelves or... No, I don't do dishes falling off of shelves. I don't do it. I don't do it. No, no. Like the temperature in the room will change. Like it'll get really cold. Gust of wind. And there's this bowl of fruit in the kitchen and the whole thing spins. But you know when like... No, no, see, no. No, no spinning fruits. I can't deal. Oh my God, <laughs> no. Mm -mm. You kind of feel in some kind of shadowy kind shadow. of shadow. Shadow-esque. I kept waking up thinking that somebody was standing there. And Something right behind me. I had this woman standing in the corner of my apartment and then it just- See, okay, all these people are saying that they, first of all, pause. There was a woman standing in the corner of their apartment? No. No. The fact that you did not jump through the wall, leaving a cartoon hole of yourself is, <laughs> it couldn't be me because I would have jumped through the wall. Second of all, all these people are saying that they woke up in the middle of the night and they felt a presence. I sleep hard. Who even knows how many ghosts have been standing over my sleeping body because I'm out like a light, okay? Like a light. For example, last night, I slept so hard for four hours that I woke up and my body was hurting because of how hard I was sleeping, okay? And then I woke up later at like nine o'clock with a headache because I slept so 
hard. Like, have y'all ever slept so hard that your body hurts? Like, that is that just me? Is that is that just me? It's not like I'm in an uncomfortable situation or anything. I'm just like so like I don't know. But I'm just so out of it. Like I've slept through so much in my lifetime. It is ridiculous. Like no, I, I'm not. I'm not waking up in the middle of the night. Number one, if I even get to sleep, because your girl be staying up and I be staying up until like seven a.m. Like I don't go to sleep until I see the daylight. Sometimes, like I don't have a whole nine to five. Get out of here. So no. No, if you're standing at the foot of my bed, I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you appear. I was watching you. Stop. I can't do this. I can't do this. And then it just kind of like disappeared. And then the room got ice cold. I've never had an experience like that. Ever. Stop. You believe in ghosts? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I do. I do. I didn't before. I was skeptical. And I had a situation where I was in an apartment I heard people kind of like touching the walls and it took basically having a conversation with them saying like, hey, I'm a visitor in your place. I'm friendly, I'm good. What do you know, next week it stopped. I believe in ghosts for sure now. What does he mean he heard people touching the walls? I don't, like he heard, cause that's creepy. What? I'm uncomfortable. I know in my apartment, I hear all kinds of noises, like I hear stomping and stuff late at night on my ceiling, but that's because Bigfoot lives above me apparently. And I hope Bigfoot hears me cause they be stomping at like 1, 2 AM. And I don't even know how they be stomping like that cause I ain't never heard no kids come out of their apartment. You know what? It's okay. Um, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Just know that my neighbors upstairs have a cement block glued to each foot. Okay, so as I'm watching this video, I just had a thought, like, I've never actually seen the people that live upstairs. So what about if there's nobody there? Because like they stomp so hard, sometimes I've thought about like filing a noise complaint. But what if I go to the office and I'm like, hey, the people above me are being way too loud. And they're like, um, nobody lives up there. Ah, uh, mm mm. Nope, I'm throwing up. I'm throwing up right there. I'm throwing up in the office. I'm, I'm throwing up. I have to. I have to throw up. I'm throwing up. Oh my God. And then I'm going to throw up on my way back. In fact, I'm not even coming back. Nope, scratch that. I'm not coming back to the apartment. I'm going to throw up back into my car and then throw up into a new state. I'm not doing it. Have you ever seen a ghost? One lives in my house and it has for over 20 years. First time I saw him. I Why did they say that so casually? Why did they say that so casually? <laughs> no. I walked in and he was just standing there and I was like, fuck me. Oh shit. And you did not walk out? You didn't then exit the building? I'm selling my house after that day. <laughs> Have you ever seen a ghost? I don't think I've ever seen a ghost, but I definitely feel like ghosts and paranormal energy like is around us like like right now got me looking around too like what's good what's good you you what's good mm. so i grew up in hawaii 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 a lot of ghost stuff happens there it's trippy the house we were staying at it was on a military base and it was one of the World War II like hospital facilities. Every now and then I would hear a woman calling to me. And Dude, I swear I heard like screaming from the mountains. I don't know if it was ghosts. I don't know if people were lost. I'm not going to go find out. <laughs> she said I'm screaming for help and you're just like, I ain't What do you want me to do? I'm not going to suit up like the Avengers. I'm That's the person that survives in all the scary movies. You hear the help, you hear people screaming and stuff. No, no, you don't go. You don't go. Hello, police. I hear somebody screaming. That's what you do. Um, hello, Mountain Park Rangers. I hear some somebody screaming. Like, you don't go. And you know, I'm talking, but I'm the dumbass. Me. I'm the dumbass. When I hear something in my apartment and I'm like, what is that? I did it last night, come to think of it. Like, I'm like, what is that noise? I just heard a noise. I get up and I go and look to see what it is. Mind you, while I'm going to see what it is, I know I'm being stupid and I still do it. 
wouldn't survive in the scary movies. No, I would definitely be the black person who dies first because I'm just going out there trying to figure out what's going on. Can't I just can't sit down? Everybody else. Hmm. But you know what? If I was with a group of people, I'm not going. Somebody else gotta go. I no. But if I was alone, yeah, I, it would be me. It would be me. Mm. At my old apartment, I would like wake up in the night and see a woman sitting there staring at me in my bed. No. No. That's when you um. You turn on your camera, right? You get get a tripod, put your phone on it, put it on the charger or whatever, like hook it up, but make it so that it can be on the tripod at the same time. Um, and you, you record or you get a camera, you record. Um, you get that footage of that lady standing at the foot of your bed, right? Do you take that to the leasing office and tell them I need to get the fuck up out of my lease? Mm -mm. Have you ever seen a ghost? I guess I've seen a ghost on video. My daughter set up a camera in her grandmother's house. And in the middle of the night one night, I literally seen like legs. It was literally like munchkin feet. It was just very strange. Maybe it was a leprechaun. Probably, <laughs> probably. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, no. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Wait, I need, I need to go back. Yeah, Wait. Ghost. I need to replay this video. Wait. Wait a minute. And in the middle of the night one night, I literally seen like legs. It was literally like munchkin feet. It was just very strange. Maybe it was a leprechaun. I didn't like that. What was that? It wasn't even, I mean, does grandma have a cat? Like, it wasn't even like, like, you know, when cars pass by on the street and the light gets weird, like it didn't even go by like that. Like, no. And then where was it going? Like, are they gonna tell us whose room is in that direction? Like, is that the way to the patio? Like. Is that the way to the kitchen? Like, did they even say what happened? I didn't like that. Mm, mm. Thank you for sticking around with me. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button. Maybe subscribe if you want to. If you don't, I mean, it's your business. It's your business. But definitely come back and see me again sometime. Go ahead. Watch one of my videos. They're there. For you. Have a good day.